Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm the author of many books on how to draw. And today I'd like to show you, give you some hints on how to draw a dog's head. I, I posted something on uh, Instagram and other places and it was, it was popular, people liked it. So I want to actually show you how to draw it step by step. It's from my book, How to Draw Dogs and Cats from Simple Templates. And I'll put this over here. And what I'm going to show you is that it really helps if you look for hidden lines, hidden repeated lines in a drawing. I'm going to show you what that means. So I'm going to start with the head. This is head of a dog. I'm going to start with a circle for the skull. And it's just a starting point. Sometimes I get people saying, I can't draw a circle. That's okay. Draw an oval. Draw a blob. Just start. Okay, so here. And the top, we can kind of make a little bit of a straight line with the top. That kind of will even out. I'll bring this down to be the forehead, and then we'll have a snout come out this way. Oh, look what's happening so far. Straight line, straight line. We'll bring the snout down here, this is a nose. We'll put the tip of the nose over here. And we'll bring this down, get kind of big upper lip over here. Oh, look what's happening. Another straight line. One, two, three. See, that's kind of hidden. People don't, don't think about those. But there they are. And we'll bring the neck down this way. I'll put a little crease here for the mouth, like so. And right here where this line is, I'm going to put the eye. The eye goes right in the middle where the snout is. So we'll make that a, an oval for the eyeball. It could be a regular circle if it were facing you, but the fact that it's facing sideways it's easier to draw it as an oval because the perspective kind of flattens out. I'm going to do this over again in front of you with a, a darker pen just so you can see what's going on. But let's just get the positioning right so far. Give a little eyebrow like this. But again, see one, two, three. And how about a little kind of wavy ear? It's, it's actually my dog. Spencer is his name. I'm going to bring this, you know, I'm going to bring this down here once still that third line, but I'm going to bring that here for a little smile. How's that? And a little chin. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, like I said, I'm going to now use a marker and make this slender, not round because it's a side view. Like that. I'm going to leave a little circle here for the eye shine and black it all around there. And now I'll have that eyebrow up high because in a smile, usually the eyes are very high, unless it's like a fiendish smile. This is not a fiendish smile, not yet. I mean, he can have a fiendish smile, and I've seen it. The reason I'm drawing him. My dog is because he asked me to. I tried to say no, but he threatened me. He said, you see that carpet? Better draw it. So I said, okay. Okay, here's that second line that we talked about. Kind of smoothly goes into that sloping eyebrow. And we'll even further back, like here. Like so. Don't even have to completely attach it. And a little shin. Not the same size, not the same you know, uh, length as the lips over here. And come down this way. A couple of whiskers, maybe a hair or two. And you can now, now that you have that line in place, you can do something with it. You can round it off because it's cuter if you have it rounded. It just is. Okay, now so we're going to have a little bit of fun here with wavy ears that kind of go in front of them, sort of like humans would have hair falling in front of their faces. That's what happens with dogs. A little crease right here, like that. And you can, of course, add a little collar if you want. I like to have it sloped down a little bit for a little bit of an accent. Chest comes out. And there you go. I hope you like that. There are some hints maybe you got something out of. Please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every Monday. And thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.